This video looks at serial manipulators and specifically their kinematics, which has to do with positions and velocities, where things are and how they're moving. We're going to look at planar manipulators, so I'll draw a simple planar manipulator. Just drawing the XY plane and we'll locate the first joint of the manipulator at the origin. So there's a revolute joint here at the origin so it can rotate uh, in that place and this is the first link and then at the end of that link is another joint and then we have another link that's supposed to be a straight line and at the end of that we will uh, draw the end effector so this is the actual tool for accomplishing things for working on pieces and we have some parameters that describe the kinematics for the robot so here is uh, our tool center point and it's located at position P and that has coordinates x and y. Like I said, this is the xy plane. So let me label the axes. Um, the parameters of the manipulator, um, we have to know the length of these links. So the length of this length is called A12, since it goes from joint 1 to joint 2 and then this is called A23 and then we have the joint angles so how far the joint has rotated and the first joint is measured relative to the x-axis it's called theta1 and the second joint angle is relative to the first link or the preceding link so this here is theta2 and now when we talk about the position of the end effector, we also um, talk about its orientation. So that's the angle that that link makes with the x-axis. And that's referred to as gamma. So the position of this um, manipulator's end effector is given by the point P, um, which, is, which has xy components and then the angle gamma and that fully describes the position and orientation of this end effector in the plane now kinematics deals with where the end effector is uh, given the joint angles that's called forward kinematics So in this case, we're given the joint angles, and we want to find out where the uh, end effector is located. So this is a pretty straightforward trigonometry to do the forward kinematics problem. So for the point P, um, it has coordinates x and y. So x is equal to a12 <laughs> times the cosine of theta1. And just to note, um, when we're working with this these kinematics we're going to be using um, trig functions a lot so I want to introduce these uh, this little shorthand so we'll say that um, C I is defined as cosine of theta I so that's just our shorthand and then similarly S I is defined as whoops is defined as sine of theta i. 
And also sometimes um, we'll be dealing with more than one angle, so we'll call it S I plus J, and that's defined as sine of theta I plus theta J. And same thing for C I plus J. Okay, so getting back to the forward kinematics. The X coordinates um, of this point is just the X coordinate of this point plus this uh, distance here. So X coordinate of this joint is A12 times cosine of theta 1, which is, we're going to denote that as C1. And then we add to that um, the horizontal part of this right triangle. So that is A23 times cosine of theta 1 plus theta 2, so C1 plus 2. And Y is A12 S1 plus A23 S1 plus 2. And so that gives us the X and Y coordinates of point P. And the orientation of the end vector is just uh, theta 1 plus theta 2. So we've now solved the forward kinematics for uh, what's called a 2R serial manipulator. And the R uh, means revolute joint. So this is a, a serial manipulator that has two revolute joints.